After losing 6 players to free agency, the Golden State Warriors have been making a killing in draft selections and their lone free agency signing. With the deck still stacked with championship level players, a talented group of young players set to return to the squad for another potential run to the finals and fresh new talent to be evaluated this summer, the Warriors are missing just one thing. Gives it up and oh! Erna Gomez! Out ahead to Damien. On it comes to Hood. He's free. And the foul! A lineup of veterans that can come off the bench to give the Warriors well needed experience when you can't rely on your developing talent and you don't want to run your starters into the ground. It is no secret that the Warriors lost an entire veterans bench. You could run a lineup of Chioza, Lee, Peyton, Porter Jr., Bielitsa at the 5 and JTA as a 6th man without missing a beat and for most of the year this was the main core of the Warriors second unit. The fact of the matter is that a well balanced team needs at least a veteran backup in each position. Currently we have a reliable player in Poole for Steph's backup, DiVincenzo for the 2 spot, a duo which could go back and forth honestly, Iguodala at the 4 and Looney at the 5. Now we are somewhat weak at the 4 as we'd rather not give Iguodala too many minutes and he also had a number of injuries this past year. That said, this will play significant importance on Jonathan Kaminga's minutes this coming year. If you've been paying attention, you'd notice I didn't list anyone at the 3 spot and that's because we currently don't have a veteran for that position. After Wiggins, we go to PBJ, and that's it. While Kaminga can play in that role, Kerr would likely throw DiVincenzo in the spot and put Moody in at the 2 to make do for the players we don't have. This can be a problem as you start having to shift these players around, and while it can work, it's much easier for Kerr to balance the minutes when he's got a full deck. That being said, this issue is likely what the front office is looking to resolve, so let's take a look at what's out there and see who the Warriors could potentially select. Hey what's happening everyone, this is Swish. With all the new additions, the Warriors have enough players to fill up 16 of the available roster spots which include two two-way slots. After moving on from 6 players, the Warriors grabbed the Big Ragu, PBJ, Santos, Quinones and Rollins. That leaves one last potential spot available if the Warriors were to sign Santos and Rollins, the only two remaining players without a roster spot if you don't count Weatherspoon. That spot will likely be a small forward and considering how many guards this team has, the Dubs could do with some size on the floor. Now the Warriors may not keep Santos or Rollins and instead opt for some veteran presence, in which case we could sign more than one of the players I'm about to mention. That said, we'll take a look and see how each one of these players would fit with the Warriors roster. The first player I look at is 26 year old Juancho Hernan Gomez. Hernan Gomez is a 6'9 forward with a 7 foot wingspan. His brother Willie Ernan Gomez is 6'11 and currently plays for the New Orleans Pelicans. Wancho last played for the Jazz and was just waived prior to the beginning of free agency at the end of June. Before playing for the Jazz, he had stints with the Spurs, Celtics, Timberwolves and Nuggets. Despite being traded or otherwise a few times in his career, one thing has remained constant and that's been his ability to space the floor. While his career average lists him as a 35% shooter, he shot 44% from 3 with the Jazz this past year on 2.8 attempts per game. He also shot 41% his first year with Denver over 62 games, so it's safe to say with enough spacing that he can knock down some open looks, something he'll find plenty of at Golden State. He's not especially bouncy but moves rather quickly for a 6'9 forward. He isn't afraid to put the ball down and drive and has a fairly decent feel for the game. His passing is also a bit underrated, averaging less than 1 per game. Wancho brings a lot of hustle and really knows how to play the game. If the Warriors want some energy off the bench, it would be hard to miss going with Ernan Gomez. The next player we'll discuss played with the same team that signed Gary Payton II for a couple of years and that is Rodney Hood. At 29 years old, Hood last played for the Los Angeles Clippers however where he saw less than 10 minutes per game but shot 54% from deep on .8 attempts per game with a career average of 37%. Prior to that however, he had seen some brief action with the Bucks and before that played with the Portland Trailblazers for 2 years. Cleveland Cavaliers and then the Utah Jazz where he was drafted fill out the remaining rosters Hood has played for. Hood is a left handed shooter listed as 6'8 with a 6'8 wingspan and average athleticism. He's been averaging 2.6 points, 0.8 rebounds and 0.6 assists with the Clippers in 10 minutes on the floor. For his career Hood averaged 10.4 points, 2.6 rebounds and 1.6 assists. His game is not quite as balanced as Ernan Gomez but for scoring punch off the bench Hood is your guy. When he gets hot he can hit threes in bunches and considering he's lefty he has the offensive advantage against defenders. 
Definitely a downgrade from Otto, although I'd rank him above some of the players already in the Warriors rearview mirror. Of the remaining free agents the Warriors might find interesting is Jake Lehman. Lehman was originally drafted by the Trailblazers, but most recently played for the Timberwolves. If the Warriors need a player that can switch and guard 1-4, through four, Jake Lehman at 6'9 with a 6'9 wingspan is the man. Originally drafted in the second round at 47, Jake wanted to let NBA teams know that his defense is his strong point. With a 40 inch vertical measured prior to being drafted in the league, Lehman has enough hops for Steve Kerr to stick him at the 5 spot as well. Now does anyone remember another player that was a monster on the defensive end with ultra athleticism? Yeah, a few interesting parallels there as well. Jake could come in off the bench in a similar manner as Gary Payton for defensive substitutions at least to get started. At 28 years old, he's right where Gary Payton was when he started with the Doves. Just like Payton as well, Lehman wasn't known for his offensive game. If he sticks to the plan and only takes those wide open looks he's sure to get, the Warriors would be able to use him in a very similar capacity to Payton and potentially open up his offensive game. Besides, the Warriors have always been lucky when it comes to players that have ties to the Timberwolves and a reunion for those players may not be so bad. For his career, Lehman averaged 5 points, 2 rebounds, and 0.5 assists in 13 minutes, shooting 30% from 3 and 41% from the field. Considering that the Warriors will be a very potent offensive team, his defensive abilities would fit in well at the 3 or 4 spot. Plus the added size is a huge benefit for the Doves. I'm okay with either Lehman or Ernan Gomez as Hood doesn't really have the defensive abilities shared by the other two. My choice for the Doves is Wancho or Ernan Gomez. That guy flat out knows how to play. He's already used to making these backdoor cuts and would be a seamless fit. Lehman comes in second and Hood a distant third. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Which of these players would you rather see in a Dubs uniform? I can't wait to read what you guys respond with. That's it. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Swish. So she wanna roll, cause I'm hot. So she wanna go to my spot. Oh no, don't tell her no. Why not? She let me jump in. Xbox, but then I jump out. How scotch. She said I'm on one. I said I'm on top. She said, What you doing? I said I'm gonna rock. She said you born in K need a shit cock. Word I'm a player, the real player. I don't give a prayer, man. A naysayer, a block so hard, sweetie, so get served. Call me Lonzo Ball, bitches get swerved. Usually, I don't get down with these girls, but tonight it's on my mind. So I might eat these words. I just wanna.